Hey, Pablo, I got here as fast as I could. Thanks for the uh, text message. So the car's ready. Absolutely. My Type R guru is going <laughs> to present to me my yeah, Type R. Of course. I'm so excited. She's ready. Well, let's, let's go. What's the hold up, man? Yeah, fast car, fast mail. Let's go. It's <laughs> great. Uh, exhaust tip's going to tell me more about those. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, where are we going to start with this bad boy? All right, so why don't we go ahead and just start under that hood. Hang on a sec here. That's not a stock grill, is it? No, it's not. So what we did is we customized your front grill. Uh, we had the uh, front vents cut. Nice. It produces a little bit more extra air inside the vehicle. Uh, so what we did, we incorporated a uh, secondary radiator, which we have in the back. Uh, Whoa. Installed by your tech here. Nice. Honda. We shoved a second radiator in the back of the motor. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Definitely. It uh, should keep your uh, temperatures down, so we also incorporated an intake bar, better flow. Okay. For the manifold. Right. Okay. Make her breathe a little better. Yes, sir. Love that. And then uh, down here, I think I noticed this looked like a bit of an oversized uh, intercooler as well, right? Yes, sir, by PRL. Uh, stored by your techs. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, I told you guys to figure out a way to keep this thing cold, and it looks like you're going to hit that mark perfectly. I, absolutely. We also incorporated an oil cooler. An oil cooler? Yeah. So, I didn't even see it down there. Yeah. Um, so we actually cut out the grill and we added the oil cooler on the back. Look at that. Since the car already has a transmission cooler, we thought we would keep the temperatures a little bit better. Well, she's a turbo, right? So yeah. she builds up a lot of heat through the uh, through the oil, so that's great. Uh, we decided to lower the uh, suspension, the gravity, the center of the gravity of the vehicle. Keep you on the track a little bit better. Okay. And so we install some I box support on your springs on the vehicle. Okay. Uh, we do have some race wheels and tires for you that we're only going to use at the track. Okay. Um, we did uh, upgrade your brakes on the rear. Um, we're going to keep those pads on, but the front they're going to replace every time we go to the, uh, the track. Okay. Yeah. So we'll be running the uh, track pads on the front, keep the uh, only keep the noise down and down the streets and keep it nice and uh, manageable. So it looks like you did a little bit of extra stuff there on the front end. What's going on there? A splitter for your vehicle. Oh, okay. Um, so Get extra just, downforce. Yeah, yeah. We have to mount it up to the chassis of the vehicle so that when you're on, on the track, it doesn't fly off. Gotcha. Perfect. So Pablo, you know that I want to be on the track with this thing. I have a feeling you did a little bit more. So the suspension, you dropped it what, about an inch there. Yes. Now it looks like I got space to put a bigger tire in there because you know I'm going to want to put a bigger meat on oh. there for the track. So what's going on in the back here? Absolutely. We put some uh, adjustable camber arms for you. Ah, that's the secret there yeah. to keep it so I can tuck in there. Absolutely. Since nice. you want to give it some negative camber while you're on the track, Beautiful. make it a little bit easier for you. And you also have a 25 millimeter sway bar. What? Okay. Yeah, exactly. Stiffened up the rear suspension on me a little bit. So Absolutely. don't have to worry about that tail <laughs> wagon going on. I love exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. No fish tailing on the track. Looks good. Yeah, definitely. Hey, Jason, we got a special surprise for you. Why don't you open that trunk up? Uh, ah. Yeah. Should right. I be excited? Should awesome. I be scared? Very scared. There's be snakes, is it? No, no snakes. <laughs> Check it out. What? JL Audio. Dude. So over in the that looks like a factory installation. I mean, is that is that the Alcantara from the same front sway from the front seats? Absolutely. We actually put it there. Oh. I bet this thing sounds as good as it looks. I do love music, and this is going to take the uh, the Type R stereo system, which is probably what it's only weak link. I think it is a weak link. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's an okay it's it's an okay system, but but when you if you're a music lover, this is something. You need that thump. I, this looks like the handiwork of, of Tim Willis. Is, is is that who did this? Only. I mean, you know, if he, if he can do the, if he can do uh, Carson Wentz's car, yeah. I guess he can do my car, uh, of right? I mean, <laughs> and he actually works for our company, right? He so does. he can do pretty much anybody's car. Anybody's car. Yeah. So yeah, I was noticing the carbon fiber tips down here. Yeah. So that's clearly an aftermarket situation. So we replaced the whole thing, right? The whole thing from the cap all the way back. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Yeah, Bigger, beautiful. more free flow. So I got a better intake. I got a better exhaust. Absolutely. I'm gonna have great free flowing exhaust. Not that I'm gonna hear it, right? Because unless I'm on the track, I'm gonna have this thing thumping. Exactly. Sounds like, which I'm really excited to get inside Absolutely. and check that out. So. Absolutely. All right, we gotta get inside this thing. I gotta drive it. You're killing me, man. Of course. Man. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so let's see here. What do we got? First off, we gotta get this stereo started. So get this thing fired up. And Apple CarPlay? Apple CarPlay. Nice, all right. I brought all my kit for that, so let's get that set up. I can guarantee you're gonna love it. Sometimes oh, yeah. you gotta play the note. Nice. you're alive and have a soul. But it Woo. takes someone to come around to show. I feel like I'm in a concert. Yeah. Wow. 
That sounds really good. Yeah, absolutely. You and Tim did an excellent job on putting that together. Thank you. And the good part about it is that you still keep your OEM stereo system. Yeah, it doesn't look like, I mean, you, you guys used, what, the factory spots for the JL Audio speakers? Yeah, so you can't even tell. It looks like factory, the factory head unit. No wires anywhere. No wires anywhere. Super clean. I mean, if I put a little mat on the top of those in the back there, I still have my full cargo space. Absolutely. Yeah. So still take protected. my kite gear with me, whatever. Yeah. All right, so what else we got going on here? So, of course, this is a track-focused car. You have your R mode, sports mode, and comfort mode on the vehicle. Um, in order to run the car on the track, we always need to put it on R mode. Okay. All right, and we want to fully disable the VSA and traction control. So, go ahead and hold that button. For hold 15. this button down. Okay, don't just push it. Hold it down. Correct. See, these are the things that all the other guys don't teach you about when you're getting into a Type R is how to turn off the VSC right yeah, away. Exactly, which is important for tracking. Yes. Now we're not going on the track today, but we are still going to have a little bit of fun with the car. steer component here but not I mean everybody's I think talked this to death but it's uh not you don't exist. you don't feel it I mean yeah. I, I got on it there I didn't feel anything at all yeah and that's the that's what the type R is known about you know no no torque steer um I believe it's the fastest vehicle right now in the uh Nürburgring uh, yeah front wheel drive in the Nürburgring yeah, yeah absolutely that's seven uh seven minutes and 48 seconds so. I think top 50 yeah. it puts it right which makes it uh you know pretty much every car yeah. more expensive than it uh and even half the cars after it are more expensive than this car absolutely the problem is, is they're hard to get yeah they are right so they are uh the united states only have about i say ten thousand type r's wow nationwide they have about twenty nine thousand. in our dealership we get what five four five a year five a year yeah, so far five a year and, and we just got one what two weeks ago a week ago something like that we not got even? one not even a week ago uh we got it i would say probably half a week ago and it sold in a day and three hours a day and three hours <laughs> yeah. wow yeah and, and we're and we're one of the good dealerships out there right we don't uh we don't go crazy about the uh, additional dealer markup we try to get the customer into it into it for pretty close to a uh, sticker price if i recall oh absolutely absolutely uh, i gotta excuse myself for a second oh yeah same accessories then for all for all the, for the vehicle right that we can do correct. the uh, the aftermarket uh, intercooler we can do the sway bar uh, we can do the, the coil uh, yeah pull. absolutely all they have to do is call us come in talk to one of our reps and uh, we can get them hooked up so so you did all this work for my car now when I go to see uh, when I go to see Sean in service with a with a problem with the car if, if in the future I've got some kind of warranty issue is he going to cover it? He is going to cover it. Um, we got to keep in mind that the vehicle is still running on stock components. Um, even though we upgraded the vehicle, we're only upgrading what is needed on the vehicle. Um, we're only upgrading the things that we can remove that aren't going to damage your engine or anything of that nature. Right. So we didn't because we didn't we didn't pump up any more no. horsepower. We just made it breathe a little bit easier, yeah. keep the cooling down for the uh, turbo so that the so turbo heat soak isn't as bad on the on the motor. Absolutely. Uh, the extra air cooler uh, helps out with that. The oil cooler helps to keep it cool. So all the things we're doing are really actually helping to prevent it from having a warranty issue. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, one thing that I do advise is that not to tweak with your ECU because that is going to... That would void the warranty. Oh, absolutely. Right. And the car doesn't need it. You have 300 ho 306 horses to the front wheel and 295 pounds of torque. 
Nice, nice. And the crazy part is you don't even feel like you come around a corner, you come out of it, you don't even feel the torque steer. Yeah. Again, and you don't you don't notice that it's got that many torques until you get on the gas and you actually start going. Which exactly. Is, exactly. King of the beast. Yeah. <laughs> And you know it's a it's still a four seater car that uh, absolutely we can have a, a normal human conversation in and yes you can still hear your conversations you, know, you can still have professional calls on the car yeah the only speed limits didn't exist yeah exactly if only we were in Germany for all right <laughs> That's, uh, we, we, can we get this shipped out to the autobahn and I can take <laughs> it off for some runs there that would be like really brilliant yeah. Pablo, you have done an outstanding job on this. Uh, the only thing is, like, I noticed it's almost on empty, so you clearly have had to like drive it around and make sure that you've tested yeah. thoroughly <laughs> all of the components on the car, make sure that nothing's uh, working improper. I know you had to scrub in the tires for me, so I do appreciate that. Most um, welcome. But otherwise, yeah, this thing is a brilliant vehicle. I, you know, we're gonna get it out to the track in about three weeks. We can pretty much do anything to the vehicle as long as uh, we respect the, uh, the warranty on the vehicle. Yes. Well, there's so little to do. It seems. I mean, the car just—it seems like a great car already. It is. It's, a, it's already uh, a race car out the box, as Honda calls it. Yes, yeah, out, out of the box out race the box car. Race car. Yeah. <laughs> Hence the Type R for Let's Go Racing. Absolutely, I like it. And it's got—it's got all the right creature comforts, right? It's got the automatic climate control. It's got the nice controls here. It's got the cruise control. Absolutely. I mean, it doesn't have the adaptive cruise, but you know. I, I'm not worried about that. Right. Uh, you know, maybe I'm missing the blind spot monitors, right? Uh, but you know what? If you're the leader of the pack, you don't need to worry about blind spot monitors because you know you're, you're passing people. People aren't passing exactly. you, so exactly. I, I see their philosophy there. They're right, the <laughs> fastest. They're not right. the they're not the wannabe. You know, what? Hey, first, you're last, right? right? So Ricky Bobby, this car a little bit. <laughs> You've done a great job. The team at, at uh, Price Honda has done a phenomenal job of making this car Absolutely. not only cool but really cool yeah our uh, team our service team has been awesome supportive uh sean has been supportive of that as well and uh we're yes. ready we're ready to start uh tracking these cars i noticed you also threw just a little bit of tint on the windows just you know not enough to make the cops nervous but enough to you know <laughs> kind of keep the glare off and just kind of give yeah. it that cool factor exactly keep you cool in the car that's what I love about this. What you've done is you've done all the things that are so subtle right. that just make the car a little bit cooler right. without anybody really noticing. They're like, wow, that's that's not, is it, is it factory? Is it not factory? It's not like it's not an obnoxiousness. It, I mean, the car's already, it's, already it's got a lot going on. Yeah, it's already aggressive. Yeah. You know? I didn't want to make it too aggressive. <laughs> exactly. Well, you've done a perfect so, job. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank it's you very much for your help. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. Enjoy it. Thank you. Yep.